Hi, my name is Kiza from High Pines Training Consultancy, and this is my QuickBooks online demo. Little bit about High Pines. We are established with the aim to provide training and consulting services to the public in the areas of accounting, software solutions, and business advisory. Our vision is to strive to be a go-to place to seek advice in terms of technology and compliance. And our mission is to provide and assist companies to comply with local regulation and build a strong back office function. These are some of the products and services from High Pines, mainly QuickBooks Online, Oracle NetSuite, our cloud-based ERP system, and Amplex, our cloud-based payroll system. Small introduction for QuickBooks Online. QuickBooks Online is developed by Intuit. They are the number one accounting solution for small businesses worldwide. Currently, there are 5.6 million users internationally and about 3,000 users in Malaysia. Now, let's go into QuickBooks Online to have a live demonstration. When you first log into QuickBooks Online, you will be able to see the dashboard where it gives you useful information, for example, the overdue invoices and your cash flow as well as your expenses and sales by the period that you have chosen. So the first thing I want to do is to create an invoice. How do you create an invoice? We go to the create button, let's click on it and create an invoice. The first thing I want to do is to select my customer. So let's select Chris McIntyre and all his information will be populated. Now for product, we will select garden gnomes at a quantity of 3 and a rate of 200. It's service tax 6%. So currently our quantity on hand is 3 because garden gnomes is set as an inventory item. The other two product and services type that we can set is services and non-inventory. Next, for class, we can input a class to track this specific line transaction as well as a location. Then you can type in a message. Next, you can always put in an attachment. So what attachment you can put, for example, I can put in this picture and it will get placed into the attachment. After that, you can always save and directly email this invoice to your client from QuickBooks Online. Now there's also a new function where you can save and share, then we will provide you a link that you can directly share through WhatsApp web. And if you need this invoice to be a recurring invoice, you can always go to the bottom, click on make recurring, and you will go through to this page. And in this page, you can always change the template name, so you can put here, which may into it, monthly invoice can very schedule and automatically send the email. So let's click here. We can start it on the 7th and end by the 31st of December. It will directly copy all of your information from the invoice and you can just save template. And with this, every month, they will send this invoice to your customer automatically. You are also able to create recurring for other transactions such as bills, expenses, and journals. Alright, next what I want to go through is the attachment feature. So to go to attachment, go to gear, and click on attachments. So in this window, I am able to view all my attachments that's attached to my transactions. So let's drop in a new file. Let's open my folder and drop in this file. So once you drop in the file or attachment, then you will be able to create a transaction. Okay, so to create a transaction, go to actions, create expenses. So let's create an expense. To create your expenses, first you need to choose your pay. So for this case, I will choose Alfredo Sum. Let's keep the attachment. Reference number one two three. Let's say it came from Petty Cash and paid by cash. Down at the bottom, we can say there is a commission and fee paid for commission 
can always put the location and class to tag these transaction and once we're done we can save so now we have created both our invoice and expense next we can also perform customization to our forms how to do that let's go to gear and custom form style let's click edit on standard so one thing you can do is to design your invoice for example you can always change your templates logo colors and fonts now in content let's click on the pencil icon you can always change the content of your form for example if i want to remove my email or if i want to include my website towards the bottom we can also change our form names from estimate to quotation and we can also add custom fields so what can i do with this custom field i can include my expiry date sales person or id number and with this I will create custom forms where I can put in expiry date, salesperson, and ID number into the invoice. Finally, in emails, you can always preview the email that you're going to send to your customers. You can always add in edits like so, and you can always preview your edits before you save. So once you're happy with the changes, you can always save if you click on done. So this is for custom form cells. Next, I want to go through banking. So to go to banking on the left and click on banking. So now in banking, this you can always link your online bank to QuickBooks. How to do that? You go to add account, search for your bank. Then you have to log in and connect it to QuickBooks. So what will happen is QuickBooks will just pull the transaction from your online bank into QuickBooks. But do not worry, if your bank does not integrate with QuickBooks, you can always upload the CSV file from the bank statement. You can always upload the CSV file and once you do that, you will have your transactions for review. So the software will be able to find a match based on your description and figures from the bank statement then you will be able to match it and if you don't find a match for example bank charges bank charges you will only key in when you receive the bank statement so how do you key in these bank charges let's click on this bank charge put in the supplier name put in the category as bank charges and click add once we add the bank charges quickbooks will also categorize the next description as bank charges then this will significantly increase your efficiency in clearing your bank statement so let's add the next bank charges and you can see here with this rule we can even auto categorize or auto add the transaction into quickbooks so what's the benefit of going through this bank matching the benefit is we will also be able to perform our reconciliation very quickly so how to perform reconciliation go to accounting reconcile and choose your bank as you can see here our transaction added and matched from the bank will be checked in our reconciliation screen this will increase our accuracy in reconciliation as well as improve in efficiency and significantly cut down on our time doing reconciliation every month so this is the end of my live introduction of quickbooks for more information go to www.highpinestc.com link in the description below